feet before a chainsaw like that? It's ice. As long as there's no rocks in here, I'll be OK. Far from the big Klondike mining operations, ex-Green Beret medic Fred Lewis is battling 30 feet of ice that's holding his pay dirt hostage. We're using our pumps, spraying water onto this ice to melt it faster. But everything we've done to this point really hasn't done much to dent it. If we were to wait for this to melt, it may not even melt the whole year. You know, I promised my guys a 500 ounce season. We need to be mining now. Only a few hundred yards away, the Clayton brothers are also chasing the dream. 23-year-old Brandon, one of the youngest mine bosses in the Yukon. Hey, Brady. And his 20-year-old brother. Yeah, I got a map of our claims here. Are hunting for untouched virgin ground. Let's go uh, see if we can put a mining plan together for the season. Brady has a hockey scholarship but is dedicating his summer vacation to helping the family get back on its feet. I think if we have any shot in get, getting to a farming ground season goal, we got to find some good ground and quit. The source of the California Creek gold is the 60-mile peak of fault. Over thousands of years, flowing water eroded gold from the fault, taking it downstream. Last season, the Claytons mined out the junction of two creeks where the water current slowed, allowing the heavy gold to sink and be caught by natural riffles. Working on the same theory, Brady's identified another junction, half a mile downstream, where he's hoping the same process has deposited more gold and will deliver a monster payday. With the goal that we're shooting for this year, we need a lot of ground, a lot of area. We got bills to pay. Uh, we got to help our family out so we don't find anything. We might as well go home. What are you thinking? We're, we're starting to get wide here. Yeah. So the water would have slowed down, and, and if it carried gold, it would have just deposited. So let's dig a hole right in this ground here. Throw that over, get me the gravel, and I'll pan it. All right, sounds good. This is kind of kind of do or die for not even our season, but for our family. OK, Brady, I'm going to get in that hole and grab some uh, gravel here. All right, sounds good. We got a lot riding on this pattern. We need to see some serious gold. If we think we're getting 500 ounces, this has to be the pattern to do it. Holy dude, look at this. One, two, three. That's pretty good right there. Look at how big these things are. Six, seven. There's probably 15 colors in this pattern. Yeah, it's pretty Wow. If this pan represents this whole claim, we're set. We got to get a better view. There's so much ground here to move. This is insane. This is what we need to get to our 500 ounce season goal right here. Yeah. And man, if it pans like this, this is golden acres. Yeah. Brady's plan. Mine a strip of land just 100 yards upstream from their wash plant. He's hoping there's just enough gold in the ground to finance their road and get them to a gold bonanza at Golden Acres. Pretty exciting. You know, we're going to start running our first bit of dirt this season. I'm going to take the top gravels off, and we're going to, it's about 10 feet deep, we'll take the bottom five. So then we're not diluting our, our pastry. Brandon thinks the best gold lies at the bottom of the pay layer. OK, Brady, this is going to be our first little test here. Let's get it to Dirt Devil. Yeah, I like the sounds of that.
Uh, it feels good to be back in the machine. Uh, not usually rock truck, but I, I don't mind running these things. They are fun. Beats the hell out of fix and shit, I can tell you that. The gravel looks good, but we tried an upper bench last year downstream and it didn't pay worth a So uh, I'm hoping that's not the case here. Yeah, I'm definitely depending on this. If this doesn't pan out like how I want it, I don't know what the is next. We'd like to see three quarters of an ounce per hundred. We can do half ounce a hundred, but it would make things tight. Can't see anything yet. They need to find at least an ounce of gold to prove the ground is rich enough to finance their road to Golden Acres. Well, there is gold in there. Brady, we're seeing gold after the first pail, so that's a start. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, boys, this is the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Let's put it on the scale and see what it tells us. To prove the ground is rich enough to finance the road to Golden Acres, Brandon needs at least an ounce of gold. 0.3 of an ounce. Worth less than $600. Instead of providing the 50,000 he needs, Brandon would end up losing money running this low grade pay. And we needed not even a half ounce. Man, it kind of looked like an ounce. It like did, yeah. Closer to an ounce. What? Well, we know that's not gonna work, is it? Nope. That sucks. Kind of a kick in the That's not gonna work for the season, so. 200 yards for 0.3 of an ounce. Tough. Well, back to the drawing board. Let's go see what we can figure out. Yep. Let's get at her. <laughs> 